Uh, this is the question. Um, uh, given this uh, generic type GN um, of some type parameter T which extends H I and J, uh, the question is how does the compiler uh, go about determining that um, two um, wildcard extend types are the same or two uh, wildcard super types are the same? That's the question. And um, I've chosen H I and J so that they don't correspond to anything on this diagram because if you draw diagrams you may have drawn a special case and uh, I'm going to consider the um, general case um, so look at the algebra really rather than the diagram so um, let's have a look then suppose that um, X is a supertype of H or a supertype of um, I or a supertype of J um, how does it work that out? well um, fairly obviously um, you just go up the um, type hierarchy from I all possible paths to object and if you hit uh, X then you are indeed a super type of it and similarly for H and J so it can work those out um, then the set of acceptable types is going to be all of those which are subtypes of H, I and J because um, if you think about it um, uh, you're going to have a path directly from one of these H, I or J up to X and so when you look at uh, sub um, subtypes of X uh, there will be a path down to down to one of those types and so that automatically means that um, you're going to bring in the whole lot because yeah, you've got to have um, the intersection of uh, all the subtypes of H, I and J basically <coughs> we're therefore able to say that if X and Y are both supertypes of at least one of the bounds, which not necessarily the same bound, then um, G is something that extends X is going to be the same type as G is something that extends Y uh, or of course G of the wild card of course. Okay, now consider the um, next case um, GN of uh, something which is super X where X is not simultaneously a subtype of H, I and J and you can work that out of course by uh, going from X up to object through all possible paths and uh, if you don't meet every single one of these on some path or another then it's not simultaneously a subtype of all of them and then clearly in that case uh, the set of applicable types are going to be empty you won't be able to say G of anything in that case because there is uh, if there was something um, it, if there was some super type of um, X which was um, simultaneously a subtype of H, I and J then it wouldn't be the case that X is not simultaneously a subtype of them all you follow that and therefore follows of course that um, uh, GN of something that extends uh, that is uh, super X cannot equal G of N of something that is super Y unless X is Y are the same thing. OK, let's have a look at this on this diagram. Here on this diagram I'm using uh, G N of T um, uh, which extends K and L. Which I'll it up there as usual. So in the first case, the um, extends case. What does that mean? It means something like um, G of something that extends K is going to be exactly the same as G of something that extends C, for example. Why is that? Uh, it is that because a C is a supertype of um, of um, L, and K is a supertype of K, and that's enough. Because I could choose A as well, but I've chosen K. Okay, so that's enough to make uh, to, to bring in every single one of those green types. I suppose I should have taken these blue boxes off; they're not really applicable to this discussion, but never mind. OK, what about the um, super case? Um, the super case, what effectively this means is that um, you you can't say GN of something which is super X unless the X you're choosing is one of these green ones. Because if it's like M there, well, M is not um, uh, simultaneously a subtype of both K and L. And therefore, uh, the super types of it are going to be... Um, uh, what uh, K, 
uh, A and object and uh, there's no intersection between that lot and this green set so um, it's going to be empty and therefore it'll give a compiler error so if you don't get it, in order not to get a compiler error you've got to be down here in this green set in which case super Q and super O are going to be different because well super O contains O and super Q doesn't super S and super Q well they're even more different 